Hello, it's Thursday and I am panicking. Okay, maybe not panicking, but there's just like a lot right now. I'm currently trying to create a math curriculum for the year. The challenges are, I'm starting this from scratch. I have like a lot of different math outlines and various curriculum unit things to look through, but it's mostly from scratch and it's for a one-two split. And I have to do it with the knowledge that we're starting online in the beginning, meaning not like Zoom online, like recorded videos, packets online. So it's a lot to work through. And I have tons of things, which is both great and overwhelming. So I am basically a curriculum writer now. That's my new, add that to my resume. Update, I'm feeling a lot better about where I'm at. Um, I feel like I have just created so many different documents. <laughs> One of these has to work. I went ahead and I just like Google searched how to write a curriculum. And turns out there's a great article or um, like step-by-step -step process. I think it's artsintegration.com. How to write a curriculum from start to finish. This is actually very useful. And I feel like I'm getting to a point of, okay, I can do this. Thank God for teacher friends that are able to help you bounce ideas off of. I think I have a structure for this unit, or not unit, for this curriculum. Now it's just gotta like put it into place. Hopefully it all works out. Mm. One of the things I realized a pet peeve of mine is every math curriculum just moves so fast and they try to shove so much into a year that there's no time for actual solid mastery or review. So I'm gonna try to work that into this as well. All right, I think I've got a good handle on this. Getting the units done, going through weekly lessons, um, feeling pretty good. Still have more work on this document that I have to do, but I have my language class to go meet up with, my language Khmer tutor. I'm excited to start learning. Also a little afraid to start learning, but we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna wrap up in here and go do that. And I think I'm going to try to work out today and probably will have to end up doing some of this at home so it's ready for my admin tomorrow. But I'm feeling, feeling pretty good. Feeling less panicked than I was this morning. <laughs> this workout class that I kind of joined, it's run by like this girl and she's just kind of getting it started up again. And she does like every day at like 5, 5.15. However, I don't think I can do it every day. And I think it's like $12 a month. Where else can you get a fitness being $12 a month, but it is kicking my butt. I went on Monday and I thought that was doable, but today we added weights. I, ugh, like it feels good to be done, but I thought halfway through, I was like, I hate this, I'm never gonna come back. So we'll see how many times I come back. Um, I also had my language class, my Kamai class, first one. Um, yeah, I took basically just a ton of notes on everything she was trying to say, and I was trying to write it in the way that I would pronounce it. However, because so many different sounds, like there's so many more sounds in the Khmer language, like I know what there's some words that I don't actually have the right pronunciation of because I'm not making the correct sound. But I'm trying to get as close to it as I can, but then two of the words that she said sounded the same to me. So I was like, oh no, I don't know how to fix that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. I just need to actually get out there and just start using it. But okay, I'm out again, trying to get this coconut. I'm determined. Probably thinking, Mary, you've already tried. It's too hard. No, I'm trying again. I was told if I go down this way, I'll find one. So here we go. Round two. I think I found some. Let's hope they have a cold one. I did it! I bought a coconut by myself. And I have a lot of sweat in my eye. But I did it. I just said a couple of the words I knew. And I got one. the 
you, um, the other two times I had this, there was like a very distinct way of like putting the straw in the hole of the coconut. Um, there's no hole in this one. So this is an interesting time of making a hole with nothing that I have. So stay tuned. I will get this up cracked open and I will have my co coconut this morning. <laughs> such a cool spot as you kind of walk back further you it starts to become like this jungle forest scene and it just has a really good atmosphere vibe lots of beautiful scenery inside some really nice coffee so I can definitely see myself coming back here to do some work Next, we went to one of her favorite places to get some fried bananas and fried sweet potatoes. These were so good. It's just a little stand off the side of the street and mm, delicious. Like, I wish you could all taste this. It was so good. They were so hot straight out of that oil into the bag to us, but it was perfect. So I have a slight problem. There are ants all over my apartment. Well, let me show you. We have a group here. It goes all the way, hang on, just wait, all the way over here. Okay, yep, that is, uh, you know, there they are. Um, they're all coming from there. All right, yep, mm -hmm. there are tons here, tons of them here. Um, we also have them, just wait, it gets better. We go this way, it's Like, ugh, get out. Time to kill some ants. Here we go. Well, I took my raid, went around, sprayed everything, sprayed the doors, let it sit for a while. Now I have a bunch of dead ants. I gotta sweep out and other bugs too have been dropping to the floor. Um, yeah, so solve that ant problem. Thank goodness I bought that raid the other day. I'm thinking. Oh, I just had myself a nice, good, long cry and a little uh, journaling session. I wasn't going to put this in the video, but to give a more transparent view of how things are going. Didn't think I was gonna keep playing. So, I have loved everything I've been doing here in Cambodia. Even the curriculum writing, even though that is extremely hard. It is a great skill that I am learning how to do. And I might even try to get my master's in it. Who knows, it's gonna be my new next big move. But with living in a new country comes a lot of feelings. Oh God, I thought I was gonna be able to do this without crying. But here I am, crying. That's okay, it's good to cry. That's what I was doing all morning. <laughs> I am, I am okay. It's okay to not be okay, but I am okay. I just need a minute. Okay. So, moving to a new country can be very difficult. And I think what I'm experiencing today is a lot of different feelings. I feel like I like panicked, like 
ah, I have to do this for a whole year. Like, that's so long. I don't want to do this for a whole year. Like, I wish somebody would be like, you have to leave. I wish, like, the United States would be like, come back home. I'd be like, okay. But I do want to stay and keep going and push through this. Um, not, like, ignore it, but, like, actually work through this. So, <sighs> talk to more people, develop a plan of action, push through this. I don't actually know if this is culture shock or what this is, but I was feeling, like, a lot of different feelings this morning. I was feeling anxious, panicked, almost feeling like I was slipping, my, like, slipping into a depression, which I've never had that feeling before, so that was really scary, which I think this is, which has been why I panicked. Um, so those are some of the things I was feeling this morning. But I, I don't know how to put this. It's not, like I read about, was reading about culture shock and it's like, oh, you go through these different stages of like, oh, when you're like, you're planning to go and you're preparing, you're reading all these things and you're like so excited, which I was. You get here, you have lots of cool things happening and you're like, wow, this is so cool. And then you go through like a stage where it's like, oh no, things are like just really hard or like becoming more normal and I'm not okay with it. I don't think I'm there yet. Because I'm not gonna lie, I actually was feeling this way last Saturday too. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the way that my week is structured where I, Saturday I don't really have much going on. But yet I was doing such really, cool, like some really cool things. And I still like, last Saturday was when I went to the bamboo train and I like was like, wow, this is amazing. Even riding in the tuk-tuk to get there, amazing. And like there's still so many things I'm doing that like everything is new to me. So I'm still like, wow, this is beautiful, this is amazing, I wanna keep doing these things. But then I get to like, I, I feel like it's Saturday and Sunday where I just am like, like, ah, what am I doing? Like, and it's not, oh my goodness, like, I did start language class this week and that was hard, but it's not like, oh, this is so frustrating and this is so hard. And it's not, oh, I really miss these things about America and it's not, I really miss my family and just want to be with them because I do miss them but like I'm also used to not seeing them for the same amount of time that I haven't seen them so far so it's not those things that I will say I do miss the ease of ordering things off of Amazon or going to like Target to buy myself a shirt um I like looked at my clothes and it's like what was I thinking when I bought these clothes I wish I had different clothes but that's so privileged to say and so besides the point um i feel like a lot of the things i'm feeling right now are more of like like anxiety over being here for a year like i'm like how can i do this for a year like if you told me three months i'd be like oh okay like easy like right even right now like saying that i'm like oh i could totally do three months i could do that but a year i'm like that is a long time like looking at my planning for curriculum stuff i was like like it it's, it was like 37 weeks, but like just knowing that was like, what? what? And then I still have two more weeks until school starts. And I'm like, it feels like I've been here for like months and months, which this might be where the quarantine actually did not work in my favor because I have been here for a month, but I haven't experienced anything until like the past like two weeks. So there's that too. But I, I don't know if this is making any sense. And maybe you just had to have lived in another country to experience this. Um, I haven't talked to, I've had people talk to me. This also added to the anxiety about culture shock and people talk to me like, oh, you're gonna get home, like you're gonna have culture shock. Like don't take everything in too fast, like slow down, give yourself time to adjust. But like, it, Hearing it, it just made me think, oh my gosh, it's gonna happen and it's gonna be awful and terrible. Which, if this is culture shock, then yes, it is, it's terrible. But I felt like then I like was so just on edge about things because I was like, oh, like I'm gonna get to a point that's just gonna suck and it's gonna be terrible, which then makes the whole year thing like really hard because you're like, wow, at some point there's gonna be like a moment where it's just gonna get really, really hard. So then you're scared. Yeah, but 
after I started, well, after I stopped crying, I guess, and kind of was able to think for a little bit, I was determined. I was like, you know what? God brought me here, and I'm here, and he's going to get me through it, and we're going to get through this. It's going to be really hard, and I'm going to need a lot of help, but I am determined to get through it, because at the end of the culture shock comes, like, the stage of acceptance like you're in this country and you are comfortable I guess uh, but I have also heard from people who've been here for a long time that it still kind of comes there are days where it's it's still hard and with COVID too that adds a whole other level of things because I realized like there's so many and people have been talking to me about this too they're like yeah it would be so cool for you to be able to travel and do these things but like you can't because of COVID so like that adds a whole other hard level of things and that's just a global scale of people just feeling that um, weight of COVID especially after being in a pandemic for so long so yeah that's uh, how I'm feeling it's not very fun but we're gonna get through it lots of journaling lots of crying and talking with people who have experienced it um, yeah I don't want to push these feelings aside I want to embrace them because even now I feel a lot better after talking to this camera after crying it out writing it out I feel I feel better rather than if I would have just tried not to think about it and not do it and just filled myself up with other things yeah so I think it's just gonna be experiencing these hard feelings and getting through them Overcoming them, but not pushing them aside. Yeah, well, hope you enjoyed this week's video. I'll catch you in next week's video. That's all I got for Saturday. I have some other things planned, but I'm probably not gonna film them. I'm gonna be doing some cleaning in the apartment, going to pizza with friends while we're gonna, I think, order it. And yeah, I'm gonna end my weekly vlog here. I hope you all have a great week. Remember, it's okay to not be okay, but don't sit in that and talk to somebody. Yeah. See you, everybody.